Hi everyone, my name is Jason Matthew. In this video, I am going to show you how to uh, use boot options in Cisco Wireless LAN controller. This boot options can be used for clearing the config, changing the primary image uh, and uh, formatting, clearing your flash and all those things. So, I will um, go to that uh, right away. So, uh, first thing that uh, uh, what we have to do is we have to reboot the controller first. So let me reset the system, then I'll uh, explain you how we can go into that. So in th for this video, I have a 5520 controller and this one is running with uh, HA uh, SSO in background. So I have a standby also in background. So I'm going to reboot this controller. Uh, it's already given the command is already uh, given to the controller console. And after rebooting, while uh, rebooting, you will get an option to uh, press escape so that you will get the boot options in a background so I'll wait for that option to come uh, so that I can press escape and get into uh, boot options so you have to wait for that Cisco logo to come and you will get very less time to react on that uh, because it will continue the booting if you are not giving escape command uh, in between escape key press in between so it's rebooting now uh, and uh, restarting the system is happening in background so in between you will get the Cisco logo the same time you have to uh, press the uh, Cisco logo means that big Cisco logo and you have to press escape to get into the boot uh, boot order boot option sorry so I'll wait for that So this boot options, uh, mainly this one is used for the uh, use for the changing of the primary uh, image uh, or your password recovery kind of scenarios. So let me go into the boot options and explain about this. So this is the time you have to press escape. So you will get the bootloader, Cisco bootloader and you will get this logo. The same time you have to press escape, then you will get the boot options. So in this particular code, this uh, right now I am running 8.2.166.0 and I have five options in that. So one is, first option is run the primary image. So for uh, only for one um, section if you want to run the backup image you can directly give number two choice number two to down, uh, boot with the backup image uh, it depends on your requirement and third one change the active boot image so, so if you want to make it backup image as an active image you can use option number two uh, sorry option number three to swap the images then uh, four is manually update the images so there is an option to change, um, ma uh, you can update manually the uh, images in background. Then uh, fifth one is uh, clear config. So if you uh, play, I'm uh, sorry, if you press five here, if you give the choice of five, then um, it will uh, clear, the, clear the config and it will come back into, um, come back into the factory set settings. So uh, I'm going to give uh, choice one. Let me um, show you. So I, I don't want to uh, give um, or uh, change anything right now. So uh, these are the options uh, you can use it. So first option, you can boot the primary image right away. The second option, you can uh, boot the second Im uh, secondary image or the backup image. Third one, you can change the active boot image. Fourth one, you can update the images manually. Then fifth one, clear the config. So clear config can be used for password recovery. So these are the options available in the boot uh, boot options of Cisco Wireless LAN controller. Um, this can be used based on your requirements in your production scenario. Thank you for watching.